What is up guys, Manga Mathan Japa here, here with another video in the Master the Basic series. Today, we're going to tackle the leg press. So I feel like when we talk about the leg press, there's too much debate on should my feet be wide or should it be close. I want to tell it this part, I want to tell it. There's, especially I feel like with things like glutes, there's better movements to target your glutes than a leg press. Not that you can't do it, it's just I feel like there's better movements for that. So when I'm talking leg press, when we're doing leg press for our quads. And yes, a little bit of glute, but mainly for our quads. The thing I want us to try here is make sure that when pressing up, depending on what, whatever leg press that you're using, that your feet start at about shoulder width. And then you want to go a little bit to the outside shoulder width. So it's almost like as if you're about to squat. So just think of the leg press as a squat on a machine, kind of. And then I want to point these outwards slightly because what happens is if I don't point these outwards, then these are coming straight at my stomach. Then that ends up being very uncomfortable here. Especially if you have a little bit of a stomach yourself, that's gonna, it's, it's just gonna lower the gap there. And that's just gonna be very, very uncomfortable for you there. So the reason why we do this, then I point my toes out and I point my knees in the same direction as my toes is because now, it opens that up and I can go a lot lower and I'm not feeling that discomfort here anymore. Okay. So same thing when you perform this, you want to make sure that you're nice and stable. Nice deep breath. Make sure that your heels don't come up a whole lot. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Easy peasy. Now, when I train people to do this move, I'm always a big fan of them trying to go as low as they possibly can, not as low as they comfortably feel like, because most of the time they can go a little bit lower than they comfortably feel like they can, if that makes sense. Because they might be starting out, they might feel like, oh no, what if I come down and I don't come up again? You know, so I kind of need to talk them through that and be like, no, you're going to be fine. Just try one. And normally, once they tried one and it goes all the way down, like, okay, that's not too bad. I can actually do that. And besides that being more hypertrophic, it's just better for their joints and longevity-wise, it's just better for them. <laughs> one of the mistakes that I also see in this one, like every exercise, again, is using too much weight. And I almost feel bad sometimes because normally when I say that, it's normally us guys who are guilty of using too much weight. The ladies normally know their limits, whereas us, we always just want to but I suppose it's that testosterone and then I suppose pride comes into it as well. So, again, when someone uses too much weight, what do they do? Then they end up going there. And this, I suppose, if you know anything about stretch-mediated hypertrophy or just getting a good stretch and how important that is for muscle growth, how useless it is to do, doesn't matter how much weight on here, how useless this is to do. So please don't be one of those and do this. Rather use a lot less weight and come all the way down. It won't be as cool at the beginning, I suppose, but you're gonna build more muscle and you're gonna get a lot stronger and then in the coming weeks, be able to load the machine a lot more heavily. The other thing, um, once my sister hurt her back while she was doing this and I find it very interesting and I, I suppose I did mention that I w always want my clients to go as low as they can when they're doing a movement like this. But I'm also very cognizant that people are not the same. So as much as I can come all the way down, doesn't mean someone else can also do the same thing. So I say that to say, when you come all the way down, just make sure that your back is flush up against the pad. Too often when someone is trying to come all the way down, this is what's going to happen. If they're at least not aware of how their body is moving in space. So they'll come all the way down, and then that might happen. And their butt comes off the pad, which is very, very dangerous. Okay, so if that is you, just make sure that you focus. Either focus on this, make sure that your back is flush up against the pad, your core is in nice and tight, and then you come down as low as you can. Or, if all that is correct, and then you still can't get it all the way down without this coming up, just stop just before this comes up. 
Okay, final train smash. Just do that for now. And still move it the same way where you come down slowly. Three, two, one. And you press and you don't completely lock your knees at the top. Okay. You'll still see very similar gains if you do that. Okay, when it comes to the foot position, guys, don't honestly, and I say this not to say that all those other things where place your feet here for this and place your feet there for that it's wrong necessarily. But that doesn't make that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things. I can promise you that. So just place them where you feel comfortable, where you can get as low as you can without feeling that discomfort. And your quads are going to look really good over time. No one's going to be able to say, oh, no, she does a close one or a further away. That stuff normally doesn't matter that much, I promise you. Then the last thing is when you're coming down all the way, make sure that these, your heels, stay on the platform. Too often I see when people do this and then this starts to happen. No, keep them there. If that means you have to move a little bit higher, then do that. If it means you have to use a little bit less weight because it's going to be more challenging, then do that. Right, that concludes the video guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I'll continue to make these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.